Button rolls. Recently, you might have noticed these little things appearing in Discord servers. They're basically your reaction rolls, but instead of a small reaction, you get a button. I'm going to show you how you can add these to your Discord server, just as I and many other popular servers have done. The first step is inviting the bot. So to do that, you want to go to the link in the description below, and it should take you to a page similar to this. You then want to click the invite the bot at the top, and it should then, if you do all the other steps, be in your Discord server. The second step is going to be giving the bot admin permissions. So to do that, you want to go to server settings, roles, and then you'll notice Disco Hook Utils has basically made its own role. You want to basically click that, go to permissions, scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see administrator, you want to make sure that's ticked, and then you want to save the changes, and you want to make sure the Disco Hook Utils role is all the way above all the roles you're going to be adding the buttons to. So your gender roles, age roles, or whatever you're going to make. So make sure that's above those so it can actually assign the roles to the users and that's pretty much all the permissions sorted. The third step is going to be creating the roles you want to use. For those of you who haven't done it before, it's really simple. You click the plus at the top, you'll see it creates a new role. You can basically click that, change the name, the colour and then give it all the permissions you want. And then make sure that Disco Hook Utils is above that role. With all the general setup out of the way, now we're going to actually be creating the embeds. So to do this, you want to go to a channel which you want the role embed to be in. You want to do the command slash webhook create. And then you want to give it a suitable name, so in my case, ping roles. Press enter, and you should see it should send some information in an embed like this. You then want to click the spoiler, and you'll notice a link appears. You want to copy this link, as this is your webhook URL. We're going to be using this when we create the embed for the actual menu. So what you want to do now is go to Disco Hook's website, and in the webhook URL box at the top of the page, you want to paste this link. If you haven't already set your embed up like I have, and you want some tips, watch my previous video linked to the card above. Once you're happy with your embed, you want to click send, and you'll notice in the Discord channel it would have sent the embed. The next step is adding buttons to the embed, so to do that you want to right click the embed, go to the apps section, and then you want to select add button. The bot should then send a message underneath, including a drop down box, and then you should have the option then to either add a role, or an option to add a link. We will go through both of these, but firstly for the role one, you want to select that and it should send you basically another embed with two or how many other roles you've got drop down boxes. The more roles you've got, the more drop down boxes you'll have. So you want to select that and then you can basically choose the role which you want the person to receive when they click the button. In my case, I'm going to be selecting announcements. It should then automatically open a custom values menu. And this is basically where you can customize the button. You can then fill out the label, which is pretty much the text within the button. And then the emoji name, where you can use generic emojis from your phone, or you can copy the ID from the custom emojis in your Discord server. For those of you unsure how to get the ID for your custom emojis, you basically want to go to your Discord channel. You basically want to start typing in the emoji. And once you've basically got it in your text box, you want to go to the start of the message, you want to make sure to add a backslash, and then it should send a message which is pretty similar to this. You then only want to make sure you copy the numbers from this message, because if you copy the whole thing, it won't work. So just the numbers, which is the ID. If you go back to the embed, click set custom values, you want to type the label in, and then you want to paste that ID into the emoji name or ID section. If you click submit, you should then see the emoji along with the button text. Finally, you want to select the style of the button, and that's pretty much just the overall color of it. So you have the option to select blue, green, red, or gray. On the button which you want, you just want to click it, and you'll notice on the embed, underneath, the button should appear. If you happen to make a mistake, and you want to remove a button, without removing the entire embed, you can simply just right click, go to apps, select manage buttons, and from here you have the option to either remove the button, or to refresh them, if for some reason it decides not to work. And there you are, that's how you add roll buttons to an embed. To show you they work, when you click the button, it gives me the roll, and then when you click the button again, it removes the roll. A bonus tip for those who want to set up links, you would go through the same process as you did with the roles, but instead of selecting role, you would select link, and then when you basically customize the values, you'll basically just have to add a website link in the section which it says link. And when you press submit, you'll notice the button is slightly different to the role ones. So I'm going to leave the next video up here, but don't click on it just yet. Make sure you subscribe for more Discord content, and I'll see you in the next one.